Hi, Jez Park here. I'm just going to be talking today and hopefully a very quick tutorial on several things really. Firstly, a procedural texture, which is a sandstone procedural texture, which was originally done by, let me just find the link, procedural sandstone material by Ryan King Art on the YouTube. And he's done a very good job. It's very comprehensive. He's done quite a few different tutorials and procedural textures uh, so what I've done is I've actually just amended it ever so slightly and so that's the texture we'll be using today and just to, uh, to go over it I do go over this a little bit more later but essentially uh, the only difference is I've added an extra noise and I've made it into and turned it into a node group so I've added this extra kind of damage what I call butt damage bump uh, and it's essentially like a creates these kind of little extra kind of crumbly bits uh, which um, work quite well it's just a subtle less is more I think in some of these cases uh, so essentially that's the texture and I will include this whole scene in the download link so you can have a look at these in detail the next plugin I will actually be using well the first uh, add-on to blender I'll be using is what's called OCD or one click damage where are you and basically it's one click damage and we find that here it's on the blender website on the blender market website and it's called OCD one click damage uh, for fourteen dollars it's definitely worth money it's not perfect yet but I don't know of anything else that does what it does in blender right now quite so well and uh, that actually is using the procedural texture and so if I change this for example you'll see it's using the same um, where are we using the same hmm, let's use the right one it's using the same uh, procedural texture as this one here and then finally I use Bystead Blender Baker Bystead Blender Baker which is a free baker for uh, texture image baker for blender and it's phenomenal it's just so easy to use um, it takes a little bit of, of understanding and there's a few things which I'll go over basically today but Bystead Blender Baker and what that does essentially is it bakes whatever you've got on your your textures to PBR textures and uh, in this case I've chosen to use the color the roughness and the normal and I've loaded them on to exactly the same object post texturing so that's it so so let's go let's create a new scene and we'll start from scratch okay so here we are in our default blender scene I'm going to use the default blender cube as well believe it or not so the first thing we're going to do is to load our presets which we I mentioned in the intro to this video uh, it's a preset that was m partly made uh, by Ryan King who uh, let me just show you the video again okay so this was the video here and it's procedural sandstone but I have made uh, some adjustments to it as you will see shortly so let's load that particular stone texture and go to the shading tab to see what it looks like you can see here is the texture in question that looks pretty good uh, but I've made a few amends to it actually and I've also put it into a node group here uh, which I'll probably name something else before I send it off and so subsequently at the moment I'm using the UV coordinates and the reason for that is because later on I'm going to bake the textures that we uh, make or we'll be left with into a PBR texture and so I like to be able to see what the UVs look like and how they're actually mapping well uh, but uh, if you're not bothered about that then the object um, coordinates probably are as good and they uh, they don't rely on the shape of the UVs uh, to um, create the texture and so they do a pretty good job in fact that actually looks better I, th I would say than this uh, and that's mainly because of the size of the UVs and let's have a look at those UV maps now so the default cube comes with its own UV already there but we're not going to use that one and the reason we're not going to use that one is because we're going to make some slight amends to this we're going to bevel just give the the outside edge a slight bevel just ever so slightly make it too 
two um, segments and there's my width and so now we're going to create a new UV, UV map and the way I like to do this is just select those that central line on each one of these and then UV mark theme select all UV unwrap and then we get slightly better unwrapping uh, for what we need here anyway uh, admittedly the uh, UVs aren't necessarily um, next to each other but uh, for this that doesn't really matter and so we've actually got a little bit more detail now because the UVs are a bit bigger so the next step is to create some damage to our block and we use our plugin one click damage and literally simply click make damage change the texture to clouds and straight away we've got quite a nice looking bit of damage we can play with the amount the scale might be a bit big let's take that down a little bit doesn't always what do what you expect it to do <laughs> let's put a bit more damage in take the scale down as low as possible yeah, it's not really doing a good job there is it so let's take that scale back up I preferred it before the amount down okay we're back to where we were <laughs> by the beginning uh, so what you will notice of course is that uh, we've only got the UV texture applying to the UV map uh, if I were to change this now to the object you'll see it actually goes all over uh, because it's not using the UV coordinates it's, it's using the object coordinates uh, but I actually want it to be on the UV uh, because I like to be able to see what those UVs will look like so let's go with that for now and you can change you can play with all these different settings but I found clouds one pretty good and so once you're happy with it click apply and then you'll notice there's a recall button here and if you go to the modifier tab you'll see that we've actually got a, a, a uh, an actual modifier on there uh, which I, I'm I'm quite happy with this so I'm not going to need to recall it so I'm just going to get, get rid of that and so let's go and have a look at our UV map now and so you'll notice if I select the whole lot we've still got our UVs for the actual main sides but the actual uh, damage has got no UVs at all so let's go to the material properties and where it's got this new material which has been, has been created click on select shift and H to hide everything but those and then with those selected we're going to go UV unwrap and make sure it's angle based and then that gives us quite a nice unwrap here and I'm just going to select all of those and move them off to one side just so that I can select them later without them getting in the way now I can unhide our old UVs and I have a plugin called um, UV Toolkit uh, which does a really good job of creating this um, quick preset texture map so you can see let me just hide the wireframe on here you can see if our UVs uh, for the broken edges are pretty much the same as they are for the actual main and they're a little bit bigger or i.e. the cubes are a bit smaller so the way to balance that out is just to scale these UVs down until they're pretty much the same size so I know that the textures are going to be consistent across both the damage and the actual main surface something like that I think will be fine once I've done that select all of them and now I'm going to use UV Packmaster here but there are other uh, options that you can have that are free for example I think there's this uh, UV packer for blender which is free which also does a good job of packing uh, but so I found this UV Packmaster to be pretty darn good I must say on the whole so I'm going to click pack and then it packs the whole lot for me and there we go and the last thing to do is go back to my UV toolkit you don't need this section by the way I'm just doing it because for me it works a bit it's a really good nice way of showing the scale 
and then I'm just going to remove all those checkers and now I can go back to my shading tab and with my sandstone procedural uh, selected I'm just going to create a copy of that so click on that option there and what it's done is it's, it's created a uh, kind of like a duplicate version and so I'm just going to leave that as it is for now but the inside I'm going to change to my original sandstone procedural and you see that now it's looking pretty good it's using the UV maps and they both look quite good uh, the one thing I'm going to do which I found is a bit of a cheat but kind of works quite well is just to take the brightness up 0.15 what it does is just separates the inside from the outside Not a lot let's go 0.5 you can take it up all the way, it's not like a proper brightness it's just a slight um, overlay of a white texture I think and so I think that works well, quite well, it just kind of offsets it a bit, it might be a bit too much there we go and that looks pretty good to me it's there, there. and you could end it there if you wanted to but if you wanted to create, I don't know, a game asset or something like that uh, where you couldn't use this procedural texture then the next plugin Bystead Blender Baker is the one you need and it's very very easy to use once you know how of course everything is uh, but all we need to do is set a path for our um, textures and I've set mine uh, I've set one here but the next thing we to do is to so literally you just click it and choose your folder click accept the next thing to do is set the resolution you want I always find 205 to 2k as they say is quite it's pretty good for this sort of thing uh, but once again that's your choice if you do it higher of course you can always scale it down later uh, whereas if you do it lower you can't generally scale them up the next one is important you do not want to have high res to low res you want bake low res only that's all you need to do and then you do create with this cube selected create bake selection and then you name the selection this is important as well and I'll call this basic cube block now this will determine what the name of my textures are and so if I um, if I leave it they'll basically whatever is written here will be the name of the textures and then we need to finally create some passes so at the moment we've got no passes so the first pass we're going to do is a color pass we'll leave that so add bake pass the next one will be roughness where are you roughness Glossy, I think it's called here. Where are you? Oh no, roughness, big pardon. And then another one, add bake pass, and we'll make that normal. So we've got our passes, everything's set. We've got our UV map ready to go. And let me just double check I've got everything. I think that's it. And so the last thing to do is click bake here you'll see straight away you see, you see this baking progress at the top here now it can take a little while and you will see these site these um, display notices coming up hopefully I'm going to leave it on I won't forward this through this just so you can see how long it takes there we go and that's all done so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I don't need this um, this bake collection anymore so I can click on the X button here and then this one here I'm actually going to rename to basic cube block and then duplicate it I'd like to duplicate it because I'd like to keep my original hide that one and now here I can create a new surface a new material to put my textures on and let's call this basic cube block tab into edit mode select all and assign tab back out and we'll see we we'll see we've got a nice plain white block using the principled BSDF 
for the node wrangler shortcut control shift and T will allow us to load our images select them all principal texture and there we go voila there is our texture uh, textured block all done using the UV textures and uh, it's done a really good job I'm uh, combined with those two plugins the OCD plugin one click damage and the bystead bender baker, uh, baker which uh, I won't go into this into details of this but uh, it's free it's absolutely free the person who's done a, who's done this has just done a wonder I think uh, and so that's it and so there is our block all ready to go uh, for whatever purpose you want it to go for okay thanks for listening take care and god bless